Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd bring you in here as we're about to start the next project on the channel. This is a build for my buddy Dave, who owns a pristine Chevrolet Corvair. I mean, his car is beautiful. So, he told me he had this very old kit of a Corvair. Then, uh, so I told him, hey, why don't I try and build a replica of your car in miniature? So he was all for it. And uh, he handed me the kit, and so here we are. As you can see, this is a vintage AMT 68 Corvair kit. Not really sure what year it was issued, but judging by the box, it's definitely a vintage kit. As I did build a model of a Corvair over 20 years ago, and um, didn't have this box. This is a vintage kit. This is almost a part of model building history. And it's almost a shame to actually build it. But Dave is a huge Corvair fan. And really wants a model of his car. So I'm going to try and see how close I can get to it. And judging by the color of his car, it's an unusual blue. I don't know how that's going to work out. But we're going to try. So let's take a look at uh, what's in the box. Okay, now this is an AMT kit, so we'll just take a quick look at some of the parts here, so we can see what we're dealing with, and here we have the body, good proportions, Look like all the details are there, nice engraving, a little few mold lines we're going to have to get rid of, but all in all, not terrible, it's just like I remember from the uh, reissued kit that I built years ago. A little bit of flash here and there that we'll have to clean up. But nothing horrible for the vintage. We have our Corvair emblems. Gas door. Corvair is a rear engine car. So it had the gas filler door in the front. Take a look at the chassis. Nice engraving on the chassis. Very clean, very crisp. You could tell that this was done when the tooling was new. Very little wear, very little flash. Let's take a look at the interior tub. Very nice looking interior tub. Again, good texture on the seats. You can see, oh, not really, I've never been a fan of this. The pedals are molded into the uh, tub itself. But it does have good door paneling detail. I'm not sure how much of it you can make out since it's all in white. But it does have very nice door paneling detail. Just like I remember. Let's take a look at the chrome tree. The chrome is very nice. It's not super bright and shiny and toy-like. So that if you didn't want to do anything with it and just put it on as is, it actually wouldn't look bad. Kind of pleased with that as the chrome on the reissue kit that I had was very shiny and toy like. And let's look at the glass. So we have the glass as this kit has been tooling around, bouncing around for years. So we do have some scratches in the glass, and then we just have one part just a little signal like just fell off of there. So we're gonna have to see if I can clean that up using some compound. It worked on uh, when I built the 1985 Fiero. It did work on that to clean up the glass. So we're gonna try that again. Hopefully we can get all the scratches out. Now the rest are just the smaller parts. These are some of the race body parts as this car can be built in three different versions. Here's the dashboard, nicely engraved. All the details are there, yeah, just like I remember it. Here it goes, the race seat, and one of the stock seats. Again, very nice texturing and engraving in the seats. And let's take a 
look at the engine block here. Oops, that's falling off the tree, so we'll just put it together here and take a quick look at it. Actually, it's not bad at all. You can see the details in the, in the transmission. Again, also not bad at all. We're not going to go through all the other odds and ends, as those are the major parts that you would be interested in. So it's really not a horrible kit, even for a vintage kit. It's not bad. Now let's just put everything back in the box. And then we're going to take a look at my previous Corvair build. This is the car that I built over 30 years ago. And it shows. As my skills back then weren't anywhere near what they are now. I'm no expert, but I am I can say I would I'm way better than I was then. Um, I consider myself now average, an average model builder. And this was me early and that was well, below average but I was happy with it back then and I'm actually happy with it now it's a very nostalgic look back at one of my early builds and I am not going to try and uh, clean it up and repaint it and try and make it like the way I would build now because uh, it's just a nice look back I did a build on the channel previously where that I called a now and then build where I compared a model I'm built now to the same model that I built over 30 years ago. That's the Pontiac Fiero, 1985 Fiero GT build. So you want to check it out. It's interesting to see the progression. So this one, the only thing I have done to this body is I decided just for giggles to play with polishing the paint to see what I could do to bring this paint back. And I was very surprised that after doing some wet sanding, which I never did when I originally painted it, as you can tell because there's tons of dirt in the paint, it's uneven, I never did any filler work in the body, as you can see the sink marks in the body are still there, no wet sanding, as it came right out of the spray can onto the body and then I was done. So. I decided to use my polishing method on the roof just to see if I could uh, bring a shine back and I did I mean it became out almost like a mirror finish it was amazing the difference just a good wet sanding and polishing will make even on a mediocre paint job as you can see here you can see all the reflections clearly the paint looks it's got a deep richness to it now that it did not have before now it wasn't easy it took a lot of work a lot of buffing and polishing but it is possible so if you have old ones that are lying around and don't really look so hot anymore crank out the polishing pads the compounds the sanding sponges and have at it. You may find that you can bring them right back to like new again. So I'm not really going to go and do the entire body over. As like I said before, I kind of like looking back on it and seeing how it was that I started in the hobby. So there we have it guys. That's the latest project, the 1968 AMT Corvair. This is going to be Dave's Corvair. So, it's going to be a fun ride. So remember, like, subscribe, give a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Uh, and if you uh, subscribe to the channel, you won't ever miss an episode. And uh, it's free, so why not? If you're watching, just hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, I will catch you on the next one where we'll get started on the project.